Hello my friends, it's Matt Skinner here and uh, I wanted to share another story with you today about feng shui. And uh, the story I wanted to share with you has to do a little bit about my personal life. You see, I have a few kids and uh, as, you know, as a father, you know, I'm always looking and striving to find ways to get the best out of my children because of course that's what we always want for our kids is we want to get the best out of them. We want them to be better than we are and we want them to rise to higher and, 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 and you know, just more enlightening paths than we chose with our lives. So, you know, recently I started doing a lot of research on feng shui and I had found that by placing your bed in a certain position in your bedroom plays a key role in as far as how you're going to be able to take that energy in and cultivate that energy into your personal life. Well, after doing some research, I come to find that, you know, my seven-year-old, who's, you know, very, he's a very energetic child, shall I say. Uh, he's always, you know, shall I say, bouncing off the walls and very full of energy. And, you know, sometimes, though, that energy is a little bit overwhelming, if you know what I mean. I mean, our kids can sometimes, you know, make us feel kind of, you know, bogged down or, you know, like, oh, you know, man, is he just going to relax? Are they just going to calm down, you know, so on and so on. So what I had found is, is that the way I had my son's bed was I had it positioned right in front of the door. And by positioning my son's bed right in front of the door, the energy was rushing right into the room, rushing right into him, and just filling him with the energy, with the chi that was just flowing through his bedroom door. Well, after doing some research, I found that one of the best places to place a bed is off to the corner. So if your door's here, you want to place the bed over here and not directly in front of the door. Where, where my son's bed was before is it was right in front of the door. So the energy was rushing right in, hitting his bed, and then just kind of making him say hyper, you know, like super hyper, be, beyond, beyond, you know, what most seven-year-olds should have for, uh, you know, hyperactivity, if you will. So after placing his bed in a new position in the bedroom, more of a command position, when he was placed in that position, suddenly, it, it took a couple days, but suddenly he started having a better energy flow. Where before, he used to not even want to play in his room. It's like he didn't even want to hang out in his room. And we never understood why. I mean, he's got all these toys. He's got, you know, fun things that, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of people don't have. And uh, a lot of these things that, you know, he never wanted to play with. He never wanted to be in his room. And now, since he's gotten his room set up a new way, he's been playing in his room more. He's been, you know, playing with his sister better. As far as when they're in the room together, they don't have this huge, like, energy field of, of you know, negativity because there was so much energy flow coming in and hitting him as he was sleeping through the night. So by placing his bed in the corner, within a short period of time, like I say, we found that his energy levels changed where he's, he's still a hyper seven-year-old, but he's not an over hyper seven-year-old. And I just wanted to share this story with you today because I know there's a lot of parents out there in the home-based business industry who have kids and are trying to cultivate the most energy they can with their personal home based business and sometimes our kids can drag us down a little bit and it's not that they're bad it's not that they're bad at all it's just that we feel like we're not doing right as parents and you know what I come to find out is is that by placing this bed in the corner and by placing his bed in a new you know positioning and by rounding out certain corners of his room I come to find that the energy flow is flowing into his room hitting him while he's sleeping, but not at such a, you know, vibrant, high level of energy that now in return, he's more reserved, he's got energy still, but he's more reserved, calm, and rational, which indeed is what you'd want to get from, our, from your children. Because to be able to give the best to our children so that our children can give the best to us so that we can send them off into the world so that they could be great human beings and great individuals, um, you know, by finding this out, I just wanted to share this with you because I think that it's very valuable to understand our children and to understand some of the, uh, you know, outlying effects that, that we could be putting on our children unintentionally by placement of their bed in their room. So I just wanted to share this story with you today. Go ahead and read the post at the bottom of the page. Let me know how you feel and leave a comment. I look forward to hearing from you and all of your comments. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk more later. Bye-bye.